Hi, I'm Ann Perry, founder of Business Heroine, and this is the Ask a Heroine column. So today's question is one that I think is so brilliant and so important. The question is, how can you tell the difference between preparing and procrastinating? And I'm so happy you asked this question. It's actually a very insightful question because the truth is, oftentimes, we can trick ourselves into thinking we are preparing, into thinking that we're taking action, but what we are really doing deep down is stalling. Now, we can tell on some level when we're procrastinating, right? It's like, oh, I know I should be really working on that right now, but I really just want to watch back-to-back -back episodes of Game of Thrones, right? That's when we know we're when we are procrastinating, or I think I really need to organize the refrigerator right now, right? So there are those stalling tactics where we're pretty aware of them, but the sneaky, tricky part is when we actually really truly think that we're preparing and meanwhile we're stalling. So let me give you an example. And by the way, I am totally guilty of this. This is why I can really speak to, speak to this from passion because I've made this mistake and I've actually stalled myself for years thinking that I'm moving things forward, but really I was just shuffling things around, preparing, perfecting, and meanwhile, the whole world doesn't even know what I'm doing. No one even knows I'm in business. I'm just doing things you know, behind the scenes, um, keeping myself very busy, but not moving forward at all. So totally guilty. Um, so that's my disclaimer. But I wanna share, You know, this actually comes up all the time with my clients. And it comes up especially, especially when you are so close. It's like you are one click away from pressing send on an important email and that's when all of a sudden it's like, <gasps> my website really doesn't reflect what I'm doing now. I should update my website, right? Or, oh, I need to revise my offering because what if they email me back and then they want me to send them my offering and it's not worded right yet? Or those kind of things. And I'm again, I'm not knocking anyone. This is totally natural and so common. And there is a time and place for preparing. There is for sure, you know, a place for planning. And um, we all want a level of professionalism and we want to be putting good content out in the world. But perfection can keep us totally stuck. So it's it's you've heard that saying, done is better than perfect. It's so true. And this could be one of the biggest breakthroughs for you in your business, especially if you find that you are, if you can resonate at all with being a little bit of a perfectionist, right? Or wanting to be prepared, wanting to have your ducks in a row, it can just keep you really stuck. So that's why I'm kind of speaking passionately about this one, right? So um, this is what I call the art of pressing send. The magic in your business happens when you, when the actions that you're taking are along the lines of pressing send. So you are <clears throat> writing an email that you're gonna send out to 20 prospects and it's that taking your finger and clicking send. That is a powerful action you can take in your business. Or you're about to make the scary phone call, you're gonna call, you're gonna call somebody and let them know you're in business, or you're gonna call someone and ask for a referral, or you're gonna call and follow up, right? Follow up can be scary, but the fortune's in the follow up. So you're gonna call and it's like, oh, press send. That, that is the magic. That is, it takes courage. It can be totally scary. But what's important to know is that it's not even about what the, re what the result is of that phone call or of sending that email out to the people in your life. That's not what's important. The important part is that you're doing it. And the more you do that, the more you do those pressing send activities, it's like a numbers game. You do that and you do that and you do that, you will get the results back. So it's not about being attached to the particular thing that you're doing, it's about being in that kind of action. Imagine if, you know, Steve Jobs, when he founded Apple, if he didn't get the first computer out there because it was like, well, it could be improved upon, it could be better. That's why there's this, you know, version 1.0, version 1.2, version 1.3, version 1.4. If he had waited, we would never have the iPod, we would never have the iPhone, we would never have the PowerBook because 
it could always be better, right? You could prepare and prepare and prepare forever until this thing is completely perfect, but the world would never have the privilege of seeing it. So thank you again for the question. It's a great one, and I actually would love to offer it back to you as a tool that you can use to catch yourself in those moments when our mind plays that trickery. You know, am I preparing or am I procrastinating? Am I blocking myself from moving forward? Am I staying where it's safe? Um, I can't ask, answer that question for you in the moment, only you can, but pay attention, look inward, be honest with yourself and go for it because the world needs what you've got and we can't get it unless you give it to us. So press send and thank you so much for tuning in.